Today, Amazon announced that they're discontinuing the dash buttons. That's these guys. Actually, I got a bunch of them. There are these little Wi-Fi buttons that you press, and what you do is when you press them, they jump onto your Wi-Fi, and they what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to order whatever you have. So if you press this, um, it's gonna order Doritos. If you press this, it'll do something else. Uh, the way we've used them for Home Assistant is Maddox actually had a great open source project called Dasher that it would run as a little Docker container. In my case, it ran it as a little Docker container and it would listen for these ARPs. Um, so when this thing joined the Wi-Fi, it would listen to the ARP, it would listen for the ARP and then it would do something. So in our case, I use these, actually I have one that I use over here that every time I press it, it keeps turning the light on and off, which is, which is why you saw the light go on and off. Um, it actually turns off the motion sensor uh, for, for the light in the office. But I had another one that I would keep in my pill box. So when I went to take my daily pill, I would uh, open the box, take my pill, and then I'd press the button. It would let Home Assistant know that I've taken my medicine and then and then it wouldn't, then, then Home Assistant would know I take my medicine. If, if I did not press the button or if I didn't take the medicine, in which case I wouldn't have pressed the button, then Home Assistant would give me alerts later on in the day to remind me to take the medicine. So that was a super cool automation. Um, but now these will still work for me, for us, for people that are using Home Assistant because we're running everything local. So Dasher, it doesn't need to talk back to the service. Amazon did say that they will keep supporting them. One battery, you can probably press this thing once a day and it'll last for about a year. Um, they're so cheap, they were only five bucks. They were only a dollar on Prime Days. So a lot of times I would just, when the battery dies, I throw it out and I just deploy a new one. They each have Mac addresses. That's how Dasher works. Um, but now you can't buy them anymore. Matter of fact, if you go on Amazon, you can't even find them. So uh, they, they completely took them off the website. But I think I have a good replacement. And that replacement is going to be this. So let's jump to the table. Let me show you what this is. Okay, so what these are, are Amazon dash buttons. These buttons are gonna be an excellent replacement for the, well, the dash buttons. These are Amazon Echo buttons. So we can see there's two Echo buttons. These are $10. Um, this was a $20 two pack. So $10, they're just a little button. You can click them. They're used for, um, they're used for Echo games. So you can have like buzzer games where you buzz in. You can turn them different colors. Uh, and you can do a lot of different things. So I think these are gonna be excellent replacements. They're basically Wi-Fi easy buttons that we can tie into all sorts of different Amazon routines. If you haven't seen my routine video, routines are getting very, very powerful. Be sure to check that one out. I'll link to it at the end of this video. Um, I think it's gonna, these are, these are gonna be very cool. So I'm still looking to see exactly how I'm gonna integrate this with Home Assistant. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it so that when you press a button, when you press one of these buttons, and of course we can use Home Assistant for all sorts of different criteria, but basically if it's the day or night, we can do different things, but press a button, the routine will turn on a device, which will basically be an input Boolean, and then if Home Assistant sees that Boolean triggered, they'll then proceed to do a bunch of actions. So I think that'll work out well. But this, this is gonna be the new replacement for the dash buttons, I think. So it's a shame that another internet of things device sort of bit the dust, but uh, they had a good run. I used them for about almost two years and now we have a new device that I think we're, is gonna fit right into what I wanna do. Um, I got to shave. I need a button that does that. <laughs>